Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'll be demonstrating how to use our virtual scripts with our new version 127 of Export Kit Suite. Now, previously in our last tutorial, we described how to attach JavaScript files to your Photoshop output. What this would do in the output is basically create all the files that are essential for controlling your application elements. So, for instance, in our actual Photoshop file, we have our individual images here and we also have our individual elements so our JavaScript file will control these on the fly in the output now new in version 127 what we have are virtual scripts and to con to basically use these what we have to do is in our users folder our actual username we have a new export kit FTML data and web templates folder what this will do is store all your virtual scripts so in our previous tutorial we used an actual JavaScript file, our JS slider. To create our own virtual scripts, what we can do is basically copy that file to our web templates folder. Again, users, your username, export kit, FTML data, web templates. So what we have to do is create a new folder. So let's say we're gonna call this uh, JS slider. And the first step is to copy the file into that folder. Now there are a few specific rules. Export Kit will automatically include this file in the output, well, relatively in your web-based output. So for instance, HTML5, and it will automatically link to this file. So to have Export Kit do this, what we have to do is actually name the file respective of the folder. So if our folder name is JS Slider with an underscore, our file name must be JS Slider with an underscore. This works for both JavaScript and and CSS files and export kit will add these automatically the next step that we want to do is we want to modify our actual JavaScript file so if we load up our text editor and this can be any editor of your choice we open up our JavaScript file and you can see previously we have our original this is basically our copy so it's the exact same thing in our JavaScript file we have a few variables that we can modify now this is very important you must have uh, some type of JavaScript knowledge to be able to create your own virtual scripts in any script there are going to be variables per se to reference to an individual layer element or to give you further options or choices what you can do with export kit is now actually edit these options in your Photoshop document so what we want to do is add one of our new script tags what this is is a at symbol an open bracket now what you want to do is now add the actual property name that we're going to assign so for instance the variable name here is animation type and forgive me if it if this is a bit technical so what we're going to do is add animation type colon and close bracket so this is very similar to our actual uh, our script tags within our actual Photoshop document our layer tags forgive me so what we have here is our at symbol our open squiggly bracket and our closed squiggly bracket inside the bracket what we have is our actual title for the property and the property value so if we repeat this so our auto slide what we're doing is we're setting the default value for this property and you'll see when we go back to Photoshop that we can edit these elements on the fly now so slide time Export Kit will now read these values and allow us to edit these in our actual Photoshop file. So once again, we have our JS slider.js. If we go back to our folder structure, it's within our user folder, Export Kit, FTML data. We have our own individual folder and we have the file. So now if we go back to Export Kit, what we can do is open it. Now immediately you'll see that the actual options are now available and present and these are reflective of what we actually set within our JavaScript file itself. So if we go back and take a look you'll see that we set animation type, we also set auto slide and we set slide time. So this is now reflective in our Photoshop document where we can edit either of these. So for instance the default is fade out but if we go back to our actual script file you'll see that we have three that we can choose from. So let's assume we want slide in from right go back to our Photoshop document you'll note that we can't edit these directly what we have to do is we have to actually enable the script export kit will now look for this once it's enabled and automatically add the link to that script so now we can actually edit these properties now if we go ahead and enable a few options and we export this 
Once the export is complete, before we take a look at the output, previously in our last tutorial we had to manually copy the individual JavaScript file to our output. Now when we go into our output folder, you'll note that Export Kit automatically copied the script folder, and this is respective of our actual web template, that we had enabled within the actual panel. So Export Kit does this for you automatically on the fly. Now if we go ahead and we take a look at it in the browser, you'll see that now automatically our individual slideshow will now reference the script that we have set within our templates and it's actually using the options and settings that we defined within our Photoshop file itself so we can now edit script elements on the fly using Photoshop this works with any script so you can download any individual script it might be a slideshow it could be a portfolio it could be anything that you want it could be animations also what you do is you go back to the actual JavaScript file you add our script tags once you have the script tags in place you save the file to your actual FTML data web templates you'll notice that we also have a UI to elements this is uh, for the actual UI elements within our tools but for web templates these are the scripts and the styles you save it here within its own folder ensure that the actual file name is referenced to the folder and then export kit will automatically allow you to now edit these elements on the fly in Photoshop so if whether you know scripting or not or if you have a buddy or a friend or a colleague that knows a bit of JavaScript you can have them edit it for you you just basically copy it into your FTML data and there you go